Hi guys, this video goes through how to calculate the interquartile range from a frequency table. Okay, so you should recall from your lessons that interquartile range is equal to Q3 minus Q1, which means we need to work out the values of Q1 and Q32, or the upper quartile and lower quartile. So Q1 is equal to N plus 2 or 1, depending on whether you have an even set of data or an odd set of data. In this case, we have an even set of data, so therefore it's going to be over 2 and divided by 4. Sorry, n plus 2 divided by 4. And again, that's just going to tell us the placement of the score, just like in median. So we have 66 values plus 2 over 4. And again, don't forget to do the top first before you do the bottom. Otherwise, you could make an error. So 68 divided by... 4 is 17, so we are looking for the 17th score. So the 17th score here, again we're going to use our cumulative frequency column, so 17 is greater than 14, so therefore it's after 2, but it's less than 25, so that means that our Q1 or lower quartile must be at number 3. So we can say therefore Q1 equals 3. The next one we need to then calculate is we need to calculate Q3 or the upper quartile. So we're going to count back the same amount of scores, so 17 scores. And to be able to work that out, we can do our total number of scores. So N minus Q1 minus 1. Now the reason that we minus 1 off is because we actually want to land on the score that we need, not to go past it. So it's the same as counting back. So 66 minus 16 means that we are looking for the 50th score. So again, we go over to our cumulative frequency column and we find, okay, well 50 is greater than 49 which means that it has to be after 5. Well, the next value after 5 is 6, and it is less than 56. So therefore, Q3 is going to be equal to 6. Now we use our interquartile range formula, IQR equals Q3 minus Q1, which is going to be equal to 6 minus 3. Sorry. Six minus three, which is equal to three. Okay, and therefore our interquartile range is three, and that's how you find interquartile range. Thanks very much, guys.